All right, we're getting ready to ream this uh, 12 gauge shotgun receiver. Basically what I did is I went to the uh, hardware store and picked up some 5 sixteenths um, threaded rod, marked it 18 inches, cut it in half, and uh, basically I just took a C-clamp and put it on top of the barrel and um, a block of wood to hold it because this receiver is kind of rounded in the... the uh, C clamp really don't want to grab hold of it. It wants to torque on me. So I did that and then I just bought these two vertical pieces uh, these two braces They already come pre-drilled And I just drilled a couple of holes in them and basically I just hooked it on the uh, takedown um, uh, Arm on the barrel and uh, Hooked that one side on there and then basically drilled me two more holes and uh, put the center uh, stock bolt back in it where I could torque it down and uh, uh, they actually bent this piece of uh, steel a little bit and I kept having problems with turning so I put me a lock nut on each side of that and everything's holding down pretty good now I think uh, basically all I have to do is now I should be able to take my flute reamer and I'll take and just ream all the way through the shotgun receiver all the way through making one uh, hole all the way through the other side of it and then we will take one of these I got some number eight plain taper pins basically what I'll do is I'll ream that out and I'll just drive that bad boy all the way through chop it off shape it back flash flush with the uh, receiver and then uh, we should be pretty good on uh, for a pivot pin we'll put it back together after that and see if it works but basically we're just going to sit here Got me a little three in one cutting oil. And I'll just put me a little in there. It's not real high speed or anything, and I'll just turn that down. I'll get it started where it cuts in, bites in good to the frame. It's kind of wobbly. I was wanting to use some longer bolts off of this thing. But I hadn't stopped by and picked up none, so I'm just going to try and ream it out like this. And if I get in a big bind, I'll just take this one and a quarter wrench and hook on the side there and use it for leverage. And if I get to the point where I think it's not going to be able to be done straight, I'll basically just stop and wait till I get bolts. But I'm going to get me a pair of gloves and so I don't chew up my hands on this sharp aluminum. And then we're going to ream out a receiver. All right, I'm gone.